Hi there! This part of the channel I talk about the process of how I've actually made those images and today I'm looking at Annabelle. So if you want to see the review of uh, uh, the An uh, Annabelle itself um, please follow the link on the description um, but this is me just talking about how I created the actual image in the end. If you've read Annabelle or you're interested in, in Annabelle and you want to contribute your own drawing please do. I've got a Facebook group uh, which I'm trying to get people to um, submit and uh, their own um, fan art um, to or add quotes from the book that they really enjoy. Um, also, I do a hashtag on Instagram called BookDraw, hashtag uh, BookDraw, and that is open to everyone to try and get more people using it through that medium too. Anyway, so cracking on with Annabelle itself. This is the scene where Treadway goes and destroys a tent which is on the, the water. I say tent, I think it's described as a tent, but it's more of a den really, because um, he puts in these bollards and he helps them. Um, uh, make it a strong fort basically for his son Wayne who is um, intersex and has very conflicting uh, issues around identity because Wayne is raised as um, a man rather than someone who is intersex. Annabelle is the, the removed aspect of um, Wayne's identity, um, the fact feminine aspects like physically removed um, and this is where he's breaking down the um, the tent because it reflects all the feminine aspects of Wayne's personality so instead of being a fault for having wars and um, making plans with uh, male friends he uses it as a bit of a sanctuary with his best friend Wally um, this lovely girl who is um, interested in um, opera singing and um, they hang out, do art, have little chats um, and he basically comes in and destroys all that for them. So in terms of how it was made, uh, I always start off with initial drawings um, which I do in my sketchbook as I travel. Um, so this is just the outline of what this fort might look like. Um, I forget the name of the fort that it's based on, but it's somewhere over in Italy. That's what the pair of them were aiming for, so I tried to reflect like a, a, a mishmash version of what that might look like if a, a pair of kids were involved in the making of that. And then um, Treadway is um, just a very handsome uh, lumberjack type fella who's very traditionally male. Um, so I just uh, did that as an initial drawing. And then this is Wayne. He's actually based on um, a, a female uh, a model who I then modified to uh, with with a male um, hairstyle. Um, so hopefully it uh, creates an androgynous look. So those were the initial um, three drawings that I did. So this was what I ended up as um, an image for Treadway, um, which, who's kind of just moved away from the uh, the den. Um, so I then created copies in black and white and in red to give two different tonal qualities of the same image. These I then layered up together, um, but also broke them up, smashed them up in terms of three different layers so we can move these around um, uh, because I wanted to create this idea of it being destroyed uh, and in the process of its destruction. So these are just, this is what they individually looked like and I just had to um, separate the, the images up in that way. That created the uh, initial kind of foundation for the image, which is what this one becomes. Let's just have a look. Uh, so this was like a work in progress. Wayne is looking out towards the left and that's because um, in, in a different passage Wayne starts menstruating, doesn't understand why he's bleeding, um, well actually he, he just has like stomach cramp because his uh, vagina is being sewn up, doesn't really understand what is happening to his body but it's in, incredible on pain so he goes to hospital and they have to drain that fluid and Wayne is almost told uh, 
why he has this kind, uh, why his body's doing these weird things to him. And there's a moment where he's looking up into the light in the hospital and is about to find out this secret. So I just used that moment, well, it's reflecting that moment subtly. And that's the way underneath it you also see Wayne here looking towards Treadway because it's Treadway who's actually in the driving seat in terms of what information um, Wayne has access to. Uh, I then uh, incorporated other little drawings and marks because I wanted it to uh, reflect how they uh, they use that space as a home for them to be creative but the marks are also um, drawn in in a much harder line um, because I wanted to create that tension and the, the darker feelings which are attached to this entire situation. I also added in these little uh, reeds which are done through pit print and did some mark making um, just to add in more textures and layers. So that's kind of how it was built up together. And then it becomes this final image. I also zoned in onto um, Treadway's face. My partner uh, thought that um, I should uh, uh, show more of a focus on, on him, so I incorporated that in. I also have the um, Hermaphrodites god uh, figure, which is what sparks this whole situation off loosely in, in, in the background. Um, and um, it's holding some sort of lamp, but um, it basically is there as an acknowledgement to an, uh, an illumination of, of the secret of Wayne's true identity. They could have changed the, the outcome, but unfortunately they don't until much further on in the book. So that's how I created this image. I hope that was interesting. Um, please give me feedback or comments. Uh, do you think I need to learn to edit? I think this one's quite messy, but I also wanted it to feel broken up and destroyed uh, and um, messed around with because it's such a kind of traumatic moment in the book. Um, so I wanted to reflect that. Uh, if you agree, let me know. If you disagree, what could I do better? Uh, if, is there other scenes in the book that you think are more interesting? Please share and let me know. Um, please join me on the Facebook group um, or share your own fan art through the hashtag um, book draw. Okay, catch you later. Thanks.